Hey everyone, my name is Kreis or Average, whatever you know me by, whatever, it's the same thing. Today I'm going to be doing a video on building T-Shock plugins. So a lot of people, they ask me on Discord and uh, it seems to be a very common problem. How do you uh, actually get these DLL files from, you know, a plugin source code on github so let's let's actually go check that out because there's been a lot of, of things that people are asking about mostly world edit it seems because on the tbc repo uh this is one of the only ones that i think are currently public on here uh yeah not much else is public i'm gonna try and get most of them publicized though anyway the main point of this all is people are asking me how do i compile world edit since there's no release here this is where a release would usually be but for a lot of plugins, you're not going to see releases, especially on forks or plugins that are work in progress or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually compile them and get a DLL file from source code. So as you can see, you might look through here and be like, oh, I could maybe find a release, but no. You're not going to find an uh, you're not going to find an assembly file. You're not going to find an assembly file. So the first thing this is going to be for Windows and this is going to be kind of like the easy mode or I guess like if you want a user in, uh, interface to do this, this is how you're going to do it. So you're going to want to install Visual Studio. Uh, it's very easy to install. Uh, just go to Microsoft's website for VS and ignore the GitHub Copilot shit. Download Community 2022. Uh, and then you get a Visual Studio setup file. And then once that is done downloading, all you want to do is open that. You know, give it a little quick open. All right. So you're going to have to say yes. Allow it to modify your fucking Windows or whatever the fuck. I don't know. And it will download and install the installer first. Yes, it has to do that. All right, so you're going to want to install Community 2022. And then when you actually install that, I think all you're going to want to select is .NET Desktop Environment. Uh, that should be all you need, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so just do .NET Desktop Environment. Once you have that installed, uh, let us go here. So this is our world edit repo. We're going to go to code. Open with GitHub Desktop if you don't already have a GitHub Desktop installed. I definitely do. I don't know why it's saying this. Like, I, I have GitHub Desktop. I can open it right now for you. Usually that works, but I guess today we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Copying the uh, link for the repo and just... I think we can paste it here. Maybe not. Okay, so what we're going to do instead is go to a uh, uh, clone repository and then URL, or actually I think we can do it, you know, we'll do URL. So boom. Uh, we already have a world edit folder, so we'll just do world edit three. So I think I have a second one as well. All right, so once it has been cloned, you're going to want to go up to here, repository, show and explorer. Uh, obviously you don't have to do it through github desktop if you prefer you can do it through a CLI which I'll be showing you uh, just after this so you're gonna want to double click world edit this is this part of the video is just for people who really want user interface simple easy nothing to remember all that so now that you have this open uh, we're going to go literally up here to build and press build solution generally this should just work uh, if there are errors you're gonna have to fix them um, and then as you can see, it says succeeded. So we're going to go to our world edit, uh, bin, and then you have your debug folder here with your world edit DLL. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to be careful about this. Some plugins require dependencies. So right here, as you can see, this plugin requires auxiliary. You can get the DLL from this path here. Uh, and then just drag the DLL into your bin folder for dependencies or if it's another plugin do it in the server plugins uh, But anyway, that's how you do that and now I'm going to be explaining How do I actually do this if I don't want to install Visual Studio if I don't want to install github copilot? Uh, so you're gonna need git and you're gonna need dot net six um, So just install both of those. I'm not really gonna walk you through installing that you should be able to figure that out on your own and then basically you're going to want to right click open in terminal and we are going to clone 
so we're just gonna type in git clone and paste in our world edits. Oh fuck, we already have one called that. So for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to create, fuck me, create a new directory called uh, we and we're going to go into it. And now we're gonna git clone. Okay, so this is pretty much doing the same thing as uh, GitHub, fuck, GitHub, uh, wait, what the fuck is it called? GitHub Desktop. Uh, we're just cloning the repository, and now we have this. We can also do a .NET build. If you don't want to install Visual Studio, as I said before, just do .NET build. And then you can also specify if you want it to be released by doing something like this. And it should put it in a separate folder. Uh, fucking Christ. Okay, maybe that's not the right tag. I don't really know. I don't really build the projects like this. But you can just do .NET build. Maybe it's only with one dash. So it says build succeeded. And then it gives you the output directory. So it'll be the exact same as if you were to do it on Visual Studio. Uh, this was a super quick video. And I wanted to mention that uh, my arm is getting better. In the past couple videos, I mentioned that, uh, you know, we're slowly getting there. It's going to be a little bit longer, probably a lot longer if I'm being honest. But uh, it's definitely, there's no pain anymore, which is fantastic. It's just kind of learning to use my arm again, getting through the nerve damage, which I don't know how long it'll take me to recover from that. But, uh, you know, it's slow. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you have any alternative or preferred ways of doing this, I don't know. There's not really that many ways of doing this, but I don't know. Start up a conversation. I always enjoy looking at them. Anyway, thank you very much and have a good one, guys.